Welcome back to our math class. Now that you know how to find for the percentage and the rate, we will now talk about finding the base. Let's start with a short story titled, Our Class. There are 16 boys in the class of Mrs. Santos, which is 40% of the total number of her advisory class. How many students are in her class? Now, if we will analyze the problem, the problem is basically asking us the question, 16 is 40% of what number? Okay, for us to answer this question, let's identify the percentage and the rate. Okay. The keyword for the percentage is is. Okay, before the word is, we have 16 and we have 40%. Since 40% has a percent symbol, it means that this is our rate, therefore 16 is our percentage. So what's missing here is the base because again, the problem is asking for us to find the number of students there are in Mrs. Santa's class. So that's the whole, therefore what's missing is the base. Again, base is the number on which the percentage is computed, represents the whole, and the total number from which a percent is taken. Now, for us to find for the base, this is the formula that we will use. Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Okay, for us to easily remember this formula, we may again use our triangular figure, which looks like this one, where P is on top and B and R are at the bottom. You may interchange these two. Since B is missing, we will focus on percentage and rate. Percentage is on top of rate, therefore it means that we will have to divide. So let's go back to our problem. Again, there are 16 boys in the class of Mrs. Santos and that is just 40% of the total number of her advisory class. So for us to look for the total number of students there are in her advisory class, which is our base, we'll use the formula percentage divided by rate. So we'll have here 16 will be divided by 40%. But we cannot divide 16 by 40% because there's a percent symbol here. If that's the case, we will have to change first 40% into a decimal. We already learned this one in our previous lesson. So for us to change 40% into a decimal, we just simply have to move the decimal point of 40 two times to the left. Okay, so let us remove the percent symbol. And 40 has a decimal point right after 0. Then we'll just have to move it twice to the left. So we'll have 40% will be equal to 0 0.40 or just 0 0.4. Now we can already divide 16 by 0 0.4. So let's do that. 16 divided by 0 0.4. Our divisor is a decimal number, so we have to make it a whole number by moving once to the right. Since we move once to the right, we'll also move once to the right in our dividend. So we'll have 160 divided by 4. Let's rewrite it here. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Then we'll have our 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. And 0 times 4 is 0. Okay. The quotient we got is 40. That means there are 40 students in Mrs. Santos' class. To check if our answer is correct, you may multiply the base we got by... 40%, that is 0 0.4, then 0, 16. We have here one decimal place, so we'll also have one decimal place here. And we got 16, just like what was mentioned in the problem. Now let's try some more examples. 6% of what number or what amount is 27 pesos? Okay, so in this question, we are looking we are asked to look for the base and for us to find for the base this is again the formula that we will use now let's solve we have 27 pesos is six percent of what number okay so let's change for six percent into a decimal number by moving the decimal point twice to the left so we'll have six percent is equal to 0 0.06 then we'll divide 27 by 0 0.06 okay let's have it here in dividing the divisor should be a whole number so we have to move the decimal point twice to the right then we'll also move the decimal point of the dividend twice to the right so our new numbers now will be 2700 divided by 6 
Okay, let's all divide. We'll have here 24, then we'll have 30. That will be 5 and 30. We still have another digit to bring down. That will give us 0. Okay, so the answer is 450. Therefore, 27 pesos is 6% of 450 pesos. Next, 12% of what number is 15? Again, this question is asking for the base, so this is the formula that we will use. Okay, to find for the base, we'll have 15 divided by 12%. And 12%, when converted into a decimal number, will give us 0 0.12. Now, let's divide 15 by 0 0.12. Okay, we'll have 15 divided by 0 0.12. Again, the divisor is... A decimal number so we'll have to make it a whole number by moving the decimal point after until after the last digit okay then since we move two times to the right here we will also move two times to the right in our dividend so our new numbers now are 1512 now let's divide we'll have here 12 30 we'll have 2 then that will give us 24 we'll have here 60 and that will give us 5. So our base now is 125. That means 15 is 12% of 125. Let's try another one. 18.5 is 80% of what number? Again, we'll find for the base. So the formula we'll use is P divided by R. Now we'll have here 18.5 is our percentage that will be divided by 80%. Okay, 80% when converted to decimal, we'll have to move two times to the left and that will give us 0 0.80 or just 0 0.8. Then we'll divide 18.5 by 0 0.8. Okay, let's have 18.5 divided by 0 0.8. Our divisor is a decimal number, so we'll have to change it into a whole number by moving the decimal point until the after the last digit. Okay, so we'll have here one movement to the right. So we'll also move the decimal point of our dividend once to the right. So our new numbers now will be 185 and 8. Now let's divide. Give us 16. Then we'll have here the remainder 2. Bring down 5. We'll have 25 divided by 8. That will give us 3. And we'll have 24. We'll have here another remainder. So that means we'll need to add decimal point and 0. 10 divided by 8 is 1. Then we'll have another remainder here. 20 divided by 8 will give us 2. Then we'll have 16. Then we'll have here 20 minus 16 will give us a remainder 4. Then we'll need to add another 0 and bring that down. 40 divided by 8 is 5 and 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, then let's copy the decimal point on top. So we'll have our base will be equal to 23.125. Another example, 2% of what number is 11.5? Again, for us to find for the base, we'll use base is equal to percentage divided by rate. So our percentage is 11.5 and our rate is 2%. Okay, let's change first 2% into a decimal number by moving the percent symbol, removing the percent symbol and moving the decimal point of 2, 2 times to the left. So we'll have 2% as 0 0.02 in decimal number. Then let's divide 11.5 by 0 0.02. Okay. We have to change 0 0.02 into a whole number. So we'll move it 2 times to the right. Therefore, we'll also move the decimal point of our dividend 2 times to the right. So our new numbers now will be 11, 1,150 divided by 2. Now let's divide. We'll have 5, 10. This will be 7, 14, 1. Bring down 0. That will give us 10. Then 5 and 10. So our base here is 575. Okay, let's have our last example. 1% of what number is 90.5? Again, for us to find for the base, we'll use this formula. Okay, so base will be equal to 90.5 is our um, percentage and our rate is 1%. Let's change 1% to 
to a decimal number by moving its decimal point two times to the left. So we have 0 0.01. Now we'll divide 90.5 by 0 0.01. Since 0 0.01 is a decimal number, we'll have to change it into a whole number by moving the decimal point after 1. Okay, so since we move 2 times to the right in our divisor, we'll also move 2 times to the right in our dividend. So our new numbers now are 9050 and 1. Okay, any number divided by 1 will give us the number itself. So that means we'll have here 9050 as well. So for our base, will have 90,050. Therefore, 90.5 is 1% of 9,050. And that's it for our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.